Guinea is grappling with the aftermath of a deadly explosion at the country's main oil terminal in the capital, Conakry. At least 14 people were killed and 190 injured in the blast on Monday. In its first update on the extent of the damage to the terminal, the government said 13 fuel tanks were out of service, while five tanks were unaffected, and warned that Guineans should brace for power cuts. Most of Guinea's power plants, particularly those supplying the capital, run on diesel fuel. Fear of further blasts or the risk of remaining in damaged buildings drove hundreds of people to seek safety elsewhere in the city. Some cautiously returned to survey the damage and salvage some belongings. There was a lot of damage. Many ceilings suffered losses. Every house here was shaken. There isn't a single house that didn't feel the impact. Some have even fallen. So we're saying to Mamadi Dumbuya, if he can help us, he must help us. Neighboring countries, including Senegal, have sent emergency workers to support recovery efforts. The extent of the fallout from the blast is not yet clear, nor whether mining operations will be affected in the world's second largest producer of bauxite. Guinea doesn't produce oil. It relies on imports of refined products, which are mostly stored in the Kaloum terminal and distributed via trucks across the country.